Hey, what's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to another video and today we are talking about Wi-Fi 6 Plus. So well, if you don't know Wi-Fi 6 yet, then I'll leave you some links down below in the description to have a close look at Wi-Fi 6. Now, most of the people will say, I don't have any Wi-Fi 6 device at home. But in fact, many people nowadays have already a Wi-Fi 6 device at home. For instance, the new Sony PlayStation 5 supports Wi-Fi 6. And next year, this will be the really big thing, because then we'll see a lot of devices with Wi-Fi 6, ranging from smartphones to other devices. And yeah, Wi-Fi 6 Plus is really the big deal in the network industry right now. Anyhow, with first-gen devices, it's usually, when something new comes out, it's super, super expensive. But Huawei managed to bring out a router that is very affordable and supports Wi-Fi 6 Plus, and it's also a very good router in general. So today we'll have a closer look at the Huawei Wi-Fi AX3, the quad-core version and the dual-core version. So let's go. Alrighty guys, so there we go. Here's the Huawei Wi-Fi AX3 dual-core and quad-core. Now in this video we'll first of all do an unboxing and have a closer look at the setup and user interface. And in the next videos we'll actually try a real-life scenario with um, the Huawei Mate 40 Pro, the Sony PlayStation 5 in an apartment of around about 60 square feet with a really fast internet connection. Here my internet connection is not that fast, so actually, yeah, the benefits of Wi-Fi 6 are still there, but um, you know, for the speed test, it's better to do it in a controlled environment. Alrighty guys, so let's get started. First of all, here we have the dual core version and the quad core version. So basically the difference, dual core version, two cores, quad core version, four cores. Um, the difference in the computing performance is actually how stable the router will be if there's a lot of stuff going on in your network, many devices connected. So if you're really a power user, I can recommend the quad core version. The quad core version has also Huawei Share. That actually means that you can um, connect with NFC enabled Android phones with one tap. You don't need to enter the password, which is really cool. Rather than that, they are actually quite similar. So um, I would say let's quickly have a closer look here inside of the package of the quad-core version. And there we go. And there we go, here it is as you can see. So we have an LED here in the front. Here we have um, the button to connect. We have four huge antennas as you can see. So not the most beautiful design if you don't like antennas, but yeah, um, it's really straight and it's looking good. So um, on um, the back side, we have the VAM port and um, two ethernet ports right over here and here the third ethernet port, reset hole, power and um, a hardware um, power button. So as you can see, 3000 megabits per second Wi-Fi 6 router. And yeah, um, it's actually looking pretty cool. Ventilation here at the bottom. It's a kind of slim router. Um, other than the router, there's the power um, supply included. Now, if you have a closer look at the power supply, it's a 12 watt power supply. So actually, yeah, quite some power for the router. And here we have an ethernet cable and a warranty card and quick starter guide. Then let's check out the differences to the dual core version. So here's the dual core version and let's open it up and let's check it out. So as you can see, also this one here looks quite similar. Now these are not retail units as you can see, so it says not for sale in there. So the final design I'm on the market could maybe look a little bit different. Here once again, looks like the LED. Then um, at, on the back side, we actually have exactly the same ports like on the quad core version. We have here the power button, and as you can see, also 12 watts here for the dual core version. Alrighty guys, then I would say, um, let's quickly set up the quad core version and let's check out in the app what we can actually see there. Alrighty guys, so the Huawei router is now powered up and in order to control it actually to do the setup, you need the AI Life application. Now this application is available in the app gallery as you can see, so you just download it. You set your region, we'll set it here to Austria where I'm from, agree, agree. And yeah, um, allow all the time. And now let's try to add um, the router. So it's actually now scanning and as you can see, it already detected the Wi-Fi router. So what you do is you hit the connect button and boom, there we go. Welcome to Huawei router as you can see. So um, yeah, agree to the user agreement and then let's get started. So first of all, networking settings. So as you can see, um, you actually have to connect the router um, via the VAM port to um, your modem. Now Huawei has, um, is only selling routers 
that are not modems. So you need to have a specific modem. But this works with most ISPs and it's even taking um, yeah, the settings from the ISP providers to make the setup as easy as possible. So um, we can actually skip this because we don't want an internet connection right now. We'll try this in the next video. Now, as you can see, you have some Wi-Fi settings right over here. So you can prioritize five gigahertz um, in case if you want to want to here you can actually set up your Wi-Fi network We'll just enter here some Wi-Fi password like tech magnet and there we go So poor Wi-Fi connection, of course, um, then we have to set the admin password We'll just leave it at tech magnet 2 now You can also set here a backup Wi-Fi 5 network So if you have an older laptop or older smartphone that doesn't have Wi-Fi 6 you can switch this on and then there is a second Wi-Fi network which is operating on Wi-Fi 5 for your older devices. All right, and as you can see, your router was successfully installed. So it's now connecting to the Wi-Fi of the router. And now we can actually have a closer look here at the user interface. So let's check this out. So if you open this up, first of all, you have to log in with your router password, which I will quickly do. All right, guys, and there we go. We're now connected to the Wi-Fi 6 router, as you can see. So first of all, um, you see all your connected devices right over here. So you can see here my Mate 40 Pro, which is connected to the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and to the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi band. So yeah, that's cool. Um, here we can see the internet connection and here's also um, some kind of Wi-Fi quality analyzer. So it shows you here all the channels and the signal strength in each channel. So as you can see, we're operating now at channel 11, which is in use. And this one here has a really good signal strength. So that's actually cool because on most of the routers, you just can switch the channels, but you don't see yeah, which one has a really good signal or you don't know anything about that. And it's really cool that you can see this right over here. You can see your internet speeds right over here, which we'll cover in the next video. There are parental controls, which is actually really cool. So you can limit devices from actually restricting devices from the internet. Let's say if you have giants, you don't want that they use Netflix or something um, after 10 p.m., you can actually limit the use of their devices. You have a guest Wi-Fi also right over here, which you can set up very easy. So here you can do that. And let's go back. And here you can diagnose things like um, if you have issues with the internet connection, firewall, um, if your Wi-Fi signal is bad, and it will actually walk you through all those things. So as you can see, firewall good, Wi-Fi is maximum, but we don't have an active internet connection right now. So the diagnosis settings are actually really cool. Okay, but now how does this Huawei share thing work like? So well, you just take your Android device with NFC enabled, you put it on there. So let's try it here from the home screen so you can see it better. And boom, I'm connected here to my home. So you're connected to the Wi-Fi network. You can instantly log in here um, to your router if it's like um, for instance your home device and also here if you go to show more you have some more features first of all um, there are firmware updates um, that works over the internet so um, um, over the air updates and um, yeah I'm not connected to the internet right now so we cannot do this anyhow we have also high link as you can see right over here you can change here the password you have here Wi-Fi management so here you can set the Wi-Fi name and password you can also limit the output of the Wi-Fi. Let's say if you have very good Wi-Fi coverage everywhere because you have a small flat to save power and to save kind of radiation if you want to, you can also lower here the signal strength of your router. Um, it's also pretty cool that it has Wi-Fi relay. So if you have another um, Wi-Fi router, let's say the dual core version, you can actually use that to extend your network and you can also use this one here to extend any other home network. Let's say for instance, I want to extend my home network. I just type in here the password and boom, I can actually use this Huawei router as a Wi-Fi repeater. This is absolutely amazing. Of course, it has VPS. So if you press the button, you can also connect easily devices which um, are not Android devices, like for instance, an iPhone, no problem at all. And there's the, ba the backup Wi-Fi 5 network, which works for your 2.4 or 5 gigahertz devices that cannot use um, Wi-Fi 6. Alrighty guys, so that's it. This is how easily you can set up the Huawei Wi-Fi router. I think um, it's kind of easy to use it with the AI Life application. I would definitely recommend to get the quad-core version because of the NFC pairing for Android phones. It's really cool if you just say to your friends, hey, just put your phone on there with NFC and boom, you're connected to the internet. That's actually really amazing. Regarding the speed tests um, for the Wi-Fi speed test and the internet test, we will test this with an UPC modem. Um, 
coming probably on Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. I have here a very slow LT modem, 50 Mbits, and it doesn't make sense to test the router here. Of course I could, but it's better to do it in a controlled environment, um, apartment of 60 square meters. We'll also check out the coverage, how many routers we need. Can one router actually um, cover really 60 square feet, actually 60 square meters? And yeah, we'll also check out the speeds with the PlayStation 5, download, upload speeds, and share some videos around the network. So stay tuned for that. Anyhow, I think um, the Huawei router has a very aggressive price point. So on most of the retailers, it's around about 100 euros. If you buy um, Wi-Fi 6 routers from very well-established networking companies, um, they're around about 150, 160 euros. And getting such a thing for 100 euros or even cheaper from some onliners, this is actually a real good, a really good deal. Especially in times of Corona where most of the routers just die, um, I think it's a really good investment. And and I'm not saying that because I got those devices for Huawei from testing. I'm really saying that because the routers, I have a Fritz box, it's 300 euros and it doesn't come with Wi-Fi 6. And this one here is 100 euros, comes with Wi-Fi 6. And this is absolutely amazing for the price. Alrighty guys, so stay tuned for the full test coming very soon and see you in the next one.